What inspired me to create the Joe Cocker Mad Dogs and Englishman Memory Book was the fact that I knew that I was going to be going to the lock-in festival with the rest of the alumni who were able to be there to celebrate Joe. And I had all these photographs, actually about 4,000 photographs from the original tour. And I thought how valuable it would be for my alumni friends to be able to see themselves and remember what our original tour was like when we went back to Virginia uh, September 11th to perform in the tribute concert that the Tedeschi Trucks Band put together for the Lock-In Festival. What inspired me to create the Mad Dogs and Englishmen book who inspired me is Joe. Joe Cocker is a man who had one of the most enormous hearts of anyone I'd ever met. And to be able to, to remember Joe and all of the people together, all of us who loved him so dearly, um, was just such a great honor for me. Leon Russell and Denny Cordell put the show together uh, back in 1970, and we traveled all over the United States. Rita Coolidge and Chris Stanton, the great Bobby Keys, Jim Price, Carl Radel, Claudia Lanier, Pamela Poland. These beautiful people, musicians, fine musicians. I love them. And I loved them then and I love them now to be able to see Chris Stanton again after 45 years and be able to present him this book. What was so wonderful about the, um, the festival and about the memorial to Joe is being able to give all my friends this book and have them go around to each other like they were in high school, asking each other for, would you autograph my book? Would you, would you sign my book? Um, about two years before I did the book, without the knowledge that we were going to even be having this reunion and tribute for Joe, I started interviewing um, all the members of the tour that I could find. So I started interviewing Rita Coolidge and Claudia Lanier, Pamela Poland, and Sandy Konikoff, people that um, I knew well, uh, asking them questions about, well, how, how did they get on the tour, and what do they remember from the tour, and um, what did the tour mean to them? Every one of the people that I interviewed um, gave me stories that I never knew. I mean, there were 45 people, three kids, a dog, and a five-person film crew running around the United States on a private plane and bus doing this amazing tour that is so iconic. I mean, Joe Cocker, Mad Dogs and Englishmen was, is considered really one of the top 10 tours, rock and roll tours ever. And to do this with the Tedeschi Trucks Band, uh, Susan Tedeschi and Derek Trucks and all the members of the band, and Dave Mason, Chris Robinson, Doyle Bramall. It was, it was, it was a love fest and it was a great honor. Um, and that's why I created the book and the photographs in order to, to bring back those memories and to create new ones as the official photographer again, which was just one of the great highlights of my life. I told my husband that on my right hand, uh, it would be number five in the highlights of my life after meeting him, after my children, after living in France, and after going on the original Joe Cocker Mad Dogs and Englishmen tour. Reuniting at Lock-In was not only one of the greatest experiences I've had in my life and to have been able to bring my daughters there was um, a tremendous gift. Uh, the Tedeschi Trucks Band and all the members of um, the show were remarkable. It was six days of a love fest and all of us are still buzzing from it. I loved making this book and I know that you will love reading it. it 
um, as I say, it was a labor of love, and it's filled with love. So enjoy the book, and enjoy the concert, and the documentary that will be coming out soon of the reunion and the tribute.